Ian, have you talked about what happened on the weekend? Yeah, we have. Obviously, we have. Uh, we just gone over our team meeting. So um, yeah, we looked at uh, look, obviously looked at the game, and um, you know it's extremely disappointing with the way we played. And um, I'm sure, we wrecked the fight this week. What was it? Do you think that happened? I mean, was it that you got so far in front that maybe blokes just took the foot off the pedal? Yeah, I don't think so. I think, you know, as I said, we, you know, we had a look at the tape and we just fell away in some areas that we really pride ourselves on. You know, it's been well said that we've contested possession. Our uncontested possession was, was well down, which we've really been good on all year. So, um, you know, we had a look at a few structural things. The way we moved the ball forward was, you know, it was pretty disappointing. It's probably our worst performance of the year. So, um, you know, we ne really need to rectify it this week and, you know, put a good performance on board. Could, could it be a handy wake-up call, you think? Oh, yeah, I suppose you could say that. It's, um, you know, I'd rather happen now than in probably three weeks. So, um, you know, we... Obviously, uh, we need to turn around this week. Yeah, you to work off um, Brendan Sanderson's line that the team looks slow and stale, is it a case that the season's just now taking its toll on you and maybe it is a case of needing the rest of the players? No, I wouldn't have thought it. You know, obviously, you know, it's been well spoken that we're, we're a pretty young group, but I wouldn't have thought we you know we're pretty pretty upbeat. It was just you know it's just out of character for the group, and um, you know, like I said, we really need to bounce back this week, and it's probably a wake up call for us. Is it possible just to have one of those days, or is it something a bit bigger than that? No, I think I think it is. I think you can have, have those days, but you know, like, we, you know, it's obviously been our worst performance of the year. And um, you know, like I said, we need to rectify it this week. We um, we had a really good team meeting and a really good chat. You know, where we're at as a group. So um, I'm sure we'll put on a good performance this week. Yeah, and you see that the ball comes up the field. How do you stop it being clogged up in the corridor like Brisbane did? Well, I think it's a bit, bit to do with you know selfless running. It's you know guys not not hanging around in there. It's about you know guys really working hard for each other, which we've done all year, and it's something that we probably fell away with on the weekend. Is it a case that um, there's been a lot of changes made over the last few months? Is it need to start settling down that 22 for the next couple of weeks? That's a good question. I'm not 100 percent sure. It's, you know, we we put a lot of faith in within Sando and his um, match committee, and um, you know whoever whoever goes out there on the day, it's expected to play their role. So I don't think it's got a hell of a hell of a problem. It's um, you know I'll probably Sando probably might look at you know he's probably settling in the next couple of weeks, but I wouldn't have thought as a playing group it's it really worried us. Do you ever blow to lose Stephen Short, uh, been at the club for such a long time? Uh, yeah, I reckon it is. He's been, uh, you know, he's been around the club for 20 years. You know, he's he's a great guy. It's, um, you know, obviously it's a, uh, it's something that he probably he needs to do. He's probably been there 20 years and probably feels he needs to change. And you know, probably be probably work out well for both of us. You know, um, someone someone new come in. We've seen what it's done this year for the playing group. So, um, you know, we'd like to wish Swerdy the best of luck. He's a great guy, and it's going to be sad to see him go. Do you think he'll take? Do you think he'll take Kurt Tippett up the Gold Coast? I don't know. You have to ask Kurt that. But um, you know, hopefully, um, you know, Kurt will be around. And you know, he's been. Really positive around the group, and um, you know, I'm sure he'll uh, play well this week. Yeah, you talk about the meeting that you have with his manager and all No, not at all. It's, um, you know, it's, it's for Tippo and his management to work out, and um, I'm sure he'll, he'll make the right call. And um, you know, he's got full commitment, and uh, I'm sure he'll uh, finish the year off. And you know, we hopefully, uh, you know, can have a really good game this week. How did you pull up after the game? What's that? How did pull up after the game? Is sent to Rusty? Who's that, Kurt? Yeah. Oh, sorry, mate. Um, yeah, no, Kurt pulled up fine, you know, it's, um, you know, I'm sure he'll play well this week. How important is he, like, you play a forward with him also, just in your structure up there, how important is he? Oh, he's huge, it's, uh, you know, you need to ask Tex Walker that, you know, Tex, you know, uh, benefits a hell of a lot from him being there, he, um, he takes, probably takes the best defender every week, so um, he's huge for the group. Yeah, and you waited a long time to play out for footy, how do you feel about, in terms of anticipation of playing finals, you yeah, personally? Yeah, I can't wait, obviously, um, you know, I've, Played in a fair few SNFL finals. I know it's a different standard of footy, but um, you know it's really exciting. It's um, going to be really exciting for the for the young playing group, and yeah, we just can't wait. Your SNFL grand final experience. Are you going to try and talk to the boys about that? Is Sando asked you to talk about that? Yet? No, not really. I was, you know, it's if, if the guys want to have a chat, I'm willing to have a chat. But you know, it's you know, it's more for them to worry about the way they want to go. But it's not. You know, I don't need to be putting any pressure on any of the younger guys. Do you feel one thing that you sort of take from your time at Central in the finals that, that you guys did well that you might the Crows to do? Oh, it's pretty much just just playing the way we play. You know, you, you just got to play your role on the side. There's no, you don't want to be playing like millionaires. You just want to play your role and just, you know play the way that we've played all year. That's that's what wins your games of footy. You know, we think our style of footy, you know, wins is capable of winning finals footy, and we need to stick to it. In terms of not wasting an opportunity, how much more do you appreciate the chance to play the final? Oh, yeah, I appreciate, you know, it's something that I've dreamed about my whole life, so, um, you know, if I can be a small part of that, it'd be, it'd be great. Do you feel there's a missed opportunity for a minor uh, premiership by blowing that game in the week? No, not at all. It's not something we... You know, obviously, it's the old cliche, we take it one week at a time. It's, uh, at the end of the day, you know, you want, you want to finish in the top four, so, 
we just need to finish the way we want to finish in the next two games. Obviously, uh, it's important to bounce straight back this week. What's the sort of one or two things that you're really going to hone in on that you need to do well this week? Well, obviously, I spoke about our contested footy. It was really down on the weekend, so I'm pretty sure it'll be, it'll be that area. That's probably the main area that we'll focus on. Is it good to have a hit out in Melbourne, sort of this close to the finals, where you know, if you want to go deep into September, you're going to have to play well there? Oh, no doubt. It's, um, it's where the grand finals played and where a lot of the finals footy's played. And, um, it's good, good experience for the young guys. You know, we didn't perform well there against Hawthorne, so it's something we're really, really looking forward to and we need to rectify. So, yeah, no, so when you say dreaming about playing in the United States, have you watched them? Have you actually gone to any of the time or have you just been a TV viewer? No, I've just been a TV viewer. It's, you know, I probably watch more games of footy than, a, than most guys. You know, I sort of live it and breathe it. So, um, yeah, sure, it's going to be a great experience and yeah, hopefully we, we can finish the next two games off and you know, really, really have a crack. MCG, how many times have you played there? One is an AFL game, but how many other times have you played? Uh, played one under-18 game. About 2,000, I think it was, so a fair while ago. Do you, do you dream of playing the final on that? Oh, no doubt. I think it's every kid's dream to play, you know, probably the best best stadium in the world. So, um, yeah, no, really looking forward to it. In terms of your long wait in, in AFL footy, what's that given you, being a more mature bloke in the long uh, That's a good question. Um, I don't know. I suppose I've got to meet some really good guys, and, you know, it's... Footy's a you know really really great industry where you can meet great friends and um, you know been there for two years and I've made some great great friends and hopefully I can um, give me an opportunity maybe later down the track working in some footy you know with some great people. Does it, does it feel strange for you that you could be like one of the 18 or 9 year olds playing the first one? Yeah, it does. It's uh, it's a bit surreal really. It's not something I thought I'd have been doing a couple of years ago. So uh, yeah, hopefully we can finish the next two two games off.